Welcome to the Bivouac. My name's Josh, and welcome to episode two. First off, I'd like to thank everyone for the following, watching the video, sharing it, subscribing. Y'all are great. I appreciate all the support, and I look forward to bringing you a lot more content based on this KTM rebuild and perhaps future motorcycle stuff as well. So today, in episode two, we're going to be tearing down the bike some more. I'd like to get the front forks out, get the rear shock out, get the rear swing arm out, see what else comes out along the way. Not sure yet, um, but we'll go from there. Right now, I'm gonna go tear down this bike some more. Let's go. So as you can see, I finally have the engine out of the frame. Um, a little more tedious job than I expected, but a lot of electrical connections that thought were already unplugged, but you always find more. Um, went through a lot of rubber gloves. The amount of oil, grime, dirt just adds up over 17 years and it was caked on everything. It still is caked on everything. Um, I have my hands cut out for me for cleaning things. It's going to be a long time cleaning, lots of scrubbing to do. So I'll probably highlight that in probably the next video. We'll go over some parts I need to order. I need to order lots of parts. Um, I'll see how I'll show you how I'm itemizing everything, going through the parts fish, and hopefully everything's still available and not NLA. Fingers crossed. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, I do have one question for you all. Do you guys think I should keep the Rottweiler intake and add an aftermarket exhaust for that wicked 950 sound? Or do you think I should go back to the stock airbox and stock exhaust? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. Kind of undecided which way to go right now. So if you can persuade me, maybe I'm up for it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned until next time.